Hey, what's going on guys? It's Lisa Goosey or Kyle and welcome to episode number two of our stranded adventure map here on the channel So in the last episode if you guys missed it make sure you go check it out right now I'll Leave a link to it in the description below, but we uh, Spawned a new world and we were on a sunken pirate ship We had to get out of there as soon as possible We got to land and then we talked to this guy right here and he told us that we need to head to a safe haven So yeah, it was a pretty cool episode and this map is looking really nice. It's also thundering and lightning all the time so it's kind of scary with that but uh carl told us last episode to head down here and we need to go over to that lamppost over there because we need to get to a safe haven there's a uh, infection that is killing everybody or uh yeah that's you know getting everyone diseases and stuff and we need to be able to get to the safe haven so we don't get that disease so we're gonna be heading over there in today's episode and it should be pretty fun so uh, yeah we're gonna get started right now and it looked like we had a couple zombies so hopefully mob spawning wasn't on nope it's not okay so those guys were meant to spawn right there and uh, yeah I believe the place uh, we were supposed to go to was called like Blackway or something along those lines so let's see that's a shipyard train station um, hospital um, oh no it's not on here is it Oh, well, there it is, Blackway City, uh, and it's just a straightforward. So, looks like we're going straightforward. Maybe we can check out some of these houses. I don't know if they'll be important, but uh, I guess we can go in here. What's this? The Ripoff Inn. Well, let's see what's going on in the Ripoff Inn. Uh, looks like we got some food here. So, yeah, it is it is good to explore the houses and see what's going on in them. I don't think I'm going to need that coal. Uh, Todd's right here. He offers a key for a gold ingot. And let's see what's down here. Ooh, a stone sword. I'll take that. I don't know how this is or why this is a ripoff, but I just got a stone sword, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now we can put that wooden sword away in our inventory. And let's see what's down here. Oh, this is such a nice room. Uh, the only problem is if we do sleep, yeah, it sets our spawn, but the issue is we do not get um it, it will still make it nighttime because daylight cycles off but i think we're going to do it anyways i think we should set our spawn right here in case we do end up dying we have a nice place to set our spawn so even though it's called the ripoff inn i think we're going to use it and hopefully we don't die when we wake up because i don't want to suffocate it in a wall so uh yeah we'll see what happens yep okay we're good and now our spawn is set so i'm going to continue to explore some other houses and see if there's any goodies in them but uh, if there's not, then we'll skip ahead and we'll head on over to Blackway City. Well, that is just sad because I just found a random house that I could have slept in and I wasted a gold on sleeping at that inn, so whoops. Wow, look at this build right here, guys. Now, I know it's kind of dark on the screen, but you should probably be able to see this. At least I hope YouTube doesn't mess up all the brightness quality and everything like that. Let's see what this place is called. Tree of Life. Oh my goodness, this is kind of cool. Um... Okay, I'm gonna try to head up here. Um, the only thing I got in the houses were a little bit more bread, and I got a lot of arrows, but nothing too valuable, so I figured I wouldn't show you guys as much because it just wasn't too important. But let's see what's in this house. Look at that, we got some food right here. I don't think we're gonna take the mushroom stew just because it will take up a lot of inventory space, and that is something we need to make sure we keep clean as our inventory. Oh, there's a guy here. Uh, oh, it's Cassandra, and she offers poop. Wow, that is really cool. Um, I did not need to know that, Cassandra. Thank you, though, for, you know, being here and being the person that you are. But that's really weird. And you sell it, too. Uh, these people are really weird. I think I want to get out of here as soon as possible. So, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, there's not more villagers in here that are selling poop because that is kind of scary. Well, George has a rumor to tell us here, and he also sells poop, just so you guys know. But uh, this is really weird. I don't know why these guys are selling what they are but you know what we're gonna read this book right here and see what's going on so let's give him a voice let's see what do I want to do I mean he's kind of weird so let's give him a weird type of voice hello stranger how have you been since the infection started as well as could be ex or as well as could be expected you're telling me I traveled across the entire island to find this place barely made it too how did the infection start the rumor goes a scientist who goes by the name Saint Vicious concocted some elixir while experimenting in his home. One of his test subjects, a little bunny rabbit, got infected with the, vi er, with the elixir and immediately became rabid. It began attacking the other test subjects, infecting them all. I heard no one's ever seen anything like it. A little cute rabbit tearing into flesh like it was mad. How did the rabbits escape? People say St. Vicious released them out onto the island, wanted to see what would happen. Animals and humans attacking and killing one another. 
let the whole island be his test subjects. Where is this guy, and why isn't he dead? Eh, that's a hard thing to do, stranger. Where's he at? In hiding somewhere? Not St. Vicious. I bet that man is in his bathrobe, staring out his window, and watching people get cornered and eaten by the undead who now occupy this island. Tell me where he is. I'll deal with him. It's just not possible, friend. His house is right off this island, to the southeast. It's guarded by the undead. No one gets in or out. Not even him. I'll find a way. I've got nothing to lose. You've got your life to lose, but if you're set on it, I wish you good luck. If by some miracle you manage your way in and kill him, make sure he knows how many lives he's destroying and how many men, women, and children he's murdered, including my daughter. Oh, don't worry. I'll make him pay for what he's done. So, that was actually a powerful story right there that he told us, but he did tell us that who's behind all this stuff. He did not tell us how he, why he's selling poop, however. So, I'm not too sure on that one, but look at this. We can get ourselves an iron chest plate right there. That was a nice little secret we could get. But, uh, yeah, that was weird. Um, but we now know who's behind this strange infection, or at least the rumor behind it. And I'm not going to check any of these guys what they're selling, because I already know it. I'm not going to say it again. Alright, so we are now out of the Tree of Life. I got a little bit more food, but that was really it from that place. So, I think it's time to move on. There is a lamppost here, so I want to make sure I'm going the right way. Um, hospital, blah, 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 and Blackway City. So, I might have just made a huge circle. I'm not too sure. I don't think I did, but, uh, this is the way to go, and it looks like we have a weird-looking building over here. I'm not sure if this is the city that we're supposed to be in, but, uh, this is a weird building, and I don't know. This is kind of weird, and I said weird a couple of times already, so let's just see. Can I get inside of here? Hello? Can I get inside, please? There we go. Let's get up here. Blah, 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 blah. And it looks like it's a lot of parkour. So, yay, my favorite. I love parkour. Don't you all love parkour? It's definitely the best thing in the world. Just kidding. All right. Well, I'm going to do this parkour. Hopefully, we can get inside this place. Let's see. Um, there we go. Big ladder right here. And let's uh, crouch on the ladder so we don't fall off. Boom, look at that. I'm such a parkour expert. And we made it to the top. And there's some chest up here. Better be some good stuff. Ooh, Kevlar helmet and kevlar vest that's actually pretty cool um let's see what do we have <gasps> we got a diamond sword with fire aspect 2 and knock back one you gotta be kidding me this is like it wasn't even hard parkour to get up here and look at all the monies we got oh my goodness is this just like i don't even know I'm so happy that we got that stuff. We need to have, like, better inventory management. Do I really need three wooden swords? I don't think so. I think we're just going to throw them all away. And uh, I don't know about all these torches, but I feel like I might accidentally lose one. So maybe we should keep a backup one on us. Not too sure about that. We'll keep the emerald in case we need it. But uh, there we go. Inventory management is definitely important. Anyways, we're going to head on and uh, try to do some other things in this area. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like you all to meet my best friend... Gerald the pig. He is one of the best pigs in the whole wide world, and I can tell you that his bacon tastes pretty good. So, uh, yeah, uh, that, that was Gerald. Oh my goodness. Whoa. What in the world is that? Look at that, guys. I think this is Blackway City. Um, this looks amazing. Let's get our speed torch out so we can actually run a lot faster. But, uh, wow, look at this. This is crazy. It, it's, it looks like a giant rabbit face that wants to eat me, which is kind of ironic because that guy just told us about the rabbits that started the infection. But let's see, is this, oh, it says skull by this guy, so make sure uh, you go check that guy out, I guess. I don't know, he made the skull, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, whoa. This is a big place, and we're not gonna be able to uh, get all the way through this place in this episode, but pretty sure this is the place we're supposed to be at. I need to turn up the brightness, though, so you guys can see a little bit. So I'll be back in just a second. All right, hopefully that's a little bit better. It actually doesn't help too much, but at least it will be a little bit better, I guess. I don't know. I'm not sure if this is the place I'm supposed to be at, but I'm just going to assume it is. And if it's not, then you guys won't be seeing this, I guess, in the video. So it's kind of a weird thing to say. Anyways, there's some torches over here, and I figure this is probably the right way to go, considering torches usually show you the right way to go. So let's see. Let's follow this cave. 
and uh, see we'll follow the torches to the fruity taste that shows I don't think that's the the right slogan for fruit loops but we'll just say it is for today and head down this path and maybe we'll find some diamonds you know this seems like a cave that you'd find some diamonds and I'm just kidding it's not a real Minecraft cave. Um, by the way, if you guys were wondering why this map is so well constructed, it was created on PC, and the person that made it was using um, a, a brush, or I don't know the exact terminology, but basically they were using World Edit, and so they were able to make this map a lot faster than what you'd be able to make it on console. So that's why it's completely crazy, and you're seeing stuff that would just not be possible on console. And the map creator was so friendly that they decided, you know what, the Xbox community doesn't have that many um, map makers on it that will make these type of things on Xbox so I'll convert my PC map over to the Xbox version so that these guys can play it and it was very nice of them uh, the map creator to do that and now we can play this awesome map so yeah make sure you guys go check out that map creator if you haven't already because they made a pretty awesome map and I'm having a lot of fun playing their map so far okay I have no idea if I'm in the right place but I just found a villager over here and he has a chest next to him I feel like I'm completely in the wrong place and I probably should have checked for signs when I was at that giant castle but um I think I'm gonna head into here and just see if I'm in the right spot because I might be in a very bad spot and like way ahead of the story so I might have to check back and do a bunch of other stuff but there is a guy here so maybe we did travel in the right direction not too sure though um, he's got a little bit of a bed here. His name is Alex. Hello, Alex. You offer me bread, but I don't really need that. And he's got a book right here. So I'm guessing this might be a side quest. So who is that? Just someone exploring the island. It's been so long since I've talked to someone. What are you doing here, down here by yourself? Wandering like you? Ended up getting lost. Been eating bugs and drinking this cave water for days, months even. You realize that the lanterns on the cave ceiling lead you the way out. What? Yeah, they lead you to the way out. I wish I would have known that a bit sooner. Now I've got my hair in a bit of twirlies, got my ribs poking out and showing because I'm so hungry. Well, I'm leaving now. <laughs> Going to explore some more. Bye. Thanks for your help. Wait, before you go, could you spare me any bread? I'm so hungry. I'll give you the rest of my gold. Let me see how much you got. All right, I've got. Okay. So, oh, wait. Do I give him bread and he gives me gold? Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, thanks for the gold, man. You are so nice. We just gave him, like, 10 bread and he gave us 38 gold. I think that's a pretty good deal. Um, but yeah, we need to get out of this cave, I think, because I don't feel like it's the right place to go. It's just kind of like a side item, and I would like to stick with the story. So I'm going to try to get back on track, and then we'll probably end off the episode there. Alright guys, so I'm not sure where to go, but we're just going to stay in this cave, or in the skull right here. Because I did figure out that I can head up here. And uh, yeah, there is an upstairs in this skull, and I believe these are the eyes actually. So we're right up here, and it looks like we can head up on into this staircase over here. So let's see. Oh, there's a chest over there. All right, let's check out this chest, see what's in it. Some cobwebs. Ooh, a blaze rod. What is this? I spy something blue with my eye. And it gives it. Oh! Oh, it's like Optifine. Okay. Um, so do we have to look out here? Because this is the eye. I don't see anything. What is it? What's it say again? I spy something blue with my eye. Uh, I guess it just means the water. But that's actually really useful. We have a nice looking telescope right here that will help us zoom in if we need to see something a little bit better. So that's actually very useful. And uh, so we have the torch that we can use to speed up really fast. And we have the blaze rod, which we can use to uh, see very far away. So I don't know if we can head up any further. It looks like maybe we can. Let's, let's try to head back up here and see if we can get up further into this building. But uh, yeah, we're getting pretty close to the end of the episode, so I think we're gonna end it off pretty soon, but it doesn't look like we can get up here. Um, hmm. I'll try to figure out a way, but if I can't, then I think that'll be the end of this episode. Alrighty guys, so off camera, I'm gonna figure out if we are in the right place, uh, if we are in Blackway City, or if we need to go a little bit farther to figure out where it's at. But that's gonna do it for this episode of Stranded. So hopefully you guys did all enjoy, and I'll see you guys in episode three. So hopefully you guys did all enjoy. I'm out for now. Peace.